What's up, YouTube and Marvel fans? Double Lady here with a look at the Steve Rogers Captain America for the new Marvel Legends Wave 1 Terex. Um, really like this figure. Articulation is just very well done. Um, the look of him is great. I like it a lot. Um, his shield, nice shield he got going on there. Not too, it's not crappy looking like the smaller versions of it for the Marvel Universe. <clears throat> I just think he's the best figure out the the first wave, hands down, best figure. Nice ratchety ab movement, great articulation. Any figure that comes with guns has to have a great arm movement and head movement. Because if not, then you got a figure that's stuck doing po like arm poses like this that are halfway out, <laughs> not pointed at anybody. <clears throat> I think he's the best figure in the wave. Second best, I would have to go with Constrictor, even though he is a used body mold. He's not new, but he has very good articulation. And for the money for these figures, that's what people want. Um, <clears throat> third, I would have to say, is Claw, even though he's very, very blah with his paint scheme. I mean, that's the way he looks, though. You know? Um, after that, I have to go with the Iron Men. Then... Thor and Terax. Hope Summers would have been a good figure, except her head movement is highly hindered by that scarf. And the least best figure would be Ghost Rider. Because even though he looks nice, he has no kind of head or movement. Just left and right, pretty much very little. His arms do not come down to his body side all the way due to the vest. I don't know. His legs, the knee pads are kind of... He's just... As far as movement goes, he sucks. Looks, he looks nice. But as far as the articulation and movement of him, he's crap. That's my opinion, though. I'm sure some of you will tell me I'm nuts. And then the shittiest figure in the line is Steve Rogers. <laughs> um, yeah, Terax is a badass figure. I like him a lot. <clears throat> Figures feel, you know, nice, nice and solid. They, f he like, you know, he feels like he's bigger and better than the rest of the figures. Thor, I'm guessing that. I guess. The one figure that doesn't come with us, the build a figure part is going to be an oversized figure. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at Wave 2. I could be completely wrong, but that would be cool. Because Mattel only did like a stupid stand with it, which kind of sucked. But yeah. Um, that's kind of my thoughts of the Marvel Legends figures. <clears throat>